Man, I just killed everyone who knows the entry code. It is amazing how useful this filter is. Well, set my balls on fire. What the shit happened here? What the hell am I even looking at? Says all these people were lined up for the big Black Friday sale. Guess they got more than they bargained for. These military assholes were investigating what happened here. Soldiers didn't do this, and the zombies definitely didn't do this, so what the hell is going on here? Oh my god. Look at this. I've been trying to get in here for weeks. <sighs> Holy shit! Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Get out of here! Calm down, pal! There's plenty to go around! Hey, buddy! My scene. Beat it. Oh, you're Frank West. You, you're the hero of Willamette. Look, hey, man, name's Darcy. We should totally work together, you know? Share the story. Right. Seriously? Hey, oh, you have to meet my girlfriend. Uh, I mean, editor. Paula, she's, she's got a podcast. It's really popular podcast. She's been investigating these Obscurus guys for weeks. Obscurus? That's the name of this outfit? Yeah. Paula's an expert on them. You know, actually, I would love to meet your girlfriend. Where is she? Uh, I, I think she's at City Hall in Old Town. Yeah, I, go talk to her. <laughs> Shit. I can't wait to see her face when she hears I got Frank West working for us. Damn! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. See you around. Well, Willamette, you're certainly still full of surprises. So this guy, Brad Park, director of CDC, says there's an outbreak in Willamette, and little Vicky Chu is already there, getting the scoop. My scoop. So, we're flying over Willamette. Wham! Rocket hits us. I quickly learned two things. One, Vic's been here for goddamn weeks. She took an interest in this paramilitary group and the goings-on at the mall's front entrance, which, and this is the second thing I learned, turns out to be the bloodiest, ugliest, weirdest thing I have ever seen. Definitely not front-page material, depending on the publication. So Obscurus isn't the only act in town, but they sure ain't handing out blankets either. So I'm heading into Willamette. Maybe find out what they're up to and who's footing the bill. Fingers crossed.
Uh, hello? Yes, though I also answered a hey asshole or Frank who? Yeah, I'm Paula, and this is the undead gospel of It's my zombie podcast! Darcy gave me your number! Oh, brother. So, uh, I hear you have something for me? Yeah, meet me at the archives department at City Hall. The door's around back. And Frank, come alone. God damn, my fans are weird. a million zombies out there, and I'm gonna drive through them. Help me out for a second? Uh, with what? We're gonna get creative. Hey, give me a hand, will ya? Come on! Wow. You've never done this before, have you? I only took shop class to meet girls. Well, I think my chances are better on my own. All right, here. You give it a try. Uh, thanks. What ifs? I'll open the gate for you. May as well roll up the city hall in style.
Looks like Obscurus was here. I should have cleared out in a hurry. All right, Paul said the door was around the back. Darcy's girlfriend, what's going on here? I'm his editor, and this was a major Obscurus outpost until 40 minutes ago. Wait a minute. You're Paula? You sound totally different on the radio. Oh, yeah, that's my character. Character? Yeah, I realize no one listens to me unless I'm yelling all the time. And also, it's kind of fun. Uh... So, if you're ready to listen, maybe you should look around and see what Obscurus was doing here. Right. I will. Thank you. I can't see anything in here. This says they have a reconnaissance outpost at the top of the Dodd's drugstore. And just what are the reconnoitering? Flip car, car on a roof. Do you know what these are? A trail of destruction. And Obscurus was following it. Fire cabinets have been gutted, but maybe they missed something. They moved fast. I bet they left some files behind. They move fast. I bet they left some files behind. I'm missing something. It looks like Obscurus was searching through the filing cabinets. Fire cabinets have been gutted, but maybe they missed something. Well, 
Well, what have we here? It looks like obscure... ...spirits were searching through the filing cabinets. The sewer and sanitary records are missing. Those sewers were pretty deep. Who knows what lurks below? They're looking for something. And it's something pretty dangerous. Do you know anything about this outpost at Dodd's Drugs? Yeah. There's been a sniper camped out there for weeks. All right, I'm gonna check it out. Sounds good. Just so you know, all 512 of my podcast subscribers are gonna be pretty excited about us working together. Yeah, well, uh, I know I am. See ya. Hey, Brad. So, our mercenary friends are calling themselves Obscurus. These types don't usually use the same name from off to off, but I'll look into it. Speaking of ops, I think they're running a man or possibly some other kind of hunt. Figure out. Will do. What is well, this is Bob's drugs. The outpost must be on the second floor. Now we just gotta go. When you get the urge to purge.
All right, what do we got? Holy shit. No zombie could have done this. Or at least I hope not. Can't quite make up the subject here. Large game tranquilizers. Some of these are empty. Whatever they're hunting, I think it's hunting them back. Sounds like they're fighting something. I wonder if I can listen in. Mission aboard. I repeat, the mission has been aborted. All troops fall back to the fire hall. Regroup and re-equip. Copy. We're cut off. We're not gonna... Ah! If you're still alive, get back to the fire hall. Repeat, fall back to the fire hall. Now, goddammit! What the hell are you guys after? Huh. Guess I know where I'm headed next. If I get around. I am sending you what I got. Now go forth, Apostle Frank. Get the story. Find the truth. I'll call you later. Here, sir. You must have been chased off. Where? See what's in the crate. Oh yeah. All right, Frank. Are you responsible enough to wear one of these? That's right. They skin off and hung him here.
four outposts, City Hall, the drugstore apartment, the fire hall, and the junkyard. says over a hundred soldiers have died hunting this thing? Son of a bitch. I need to get to the junkyard. Whatever this thing is, it's got a real hate on for Obscurus. I was, uh, just about to call you. Shh! The junkyard is crawling with obscure soldiers! 
Yeah, I was just gonna... Hey, why don't you stay here and cover me? Yeah? Good call. I got your back. Lovely. Make it quick. You were attacked by an armed group yesterday. They killed two of your men? One was a man, the other a woman. Tenure officers and friends. I know where they're gonna hit you next. I know how many are going, I know the name of the leader. I know where they hide their food. With that kind of information, it could prevent a lot of unnecessary death. What do you want? 30 minutes, off the record. What the hell are you doing, Vic? Commander, I found this civilian messing around with one of our computers. Darcy. Put him under watch. Get him a meal and a shower. He stinks like shit. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, Miss Chu, you can ask your questions. Lieutenant, she's coming with us. What are you getting yourself into, Vic? Mr. West! It's a shame you're not proving as useful as your friend. Take care of him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just another dirty people talk! Talk about this, all right?
Think she can get a scoop on me by cozying up with the creeps? Frank, over here. Those bastards took Darcy. You see which way they went? Westridge, I think. You're going after them, right? You'll save Darcy? Uh, probably, but not on purpose. Okay. Uh, I'll see if I can figure out where they were going. You go. I'll call you when I have something. Why would you leave this lying around? Alright, I'm getting tired of the Junior Elite News Club. I need to focus on what's going on here. Hey, Brad. Obscurus is hunting something. I honestly think it's some kind of horrible zombie monster. Monster? Are you serious? Yeah, I think it's whatever attacked the mall. I'm off to Westridge to track it. I'll talk to you later. Wait, Frank. Tell me. Hello, Paula. Frank, Obscurus has set a trap at the dam. They're gonna catch it there. Really? This shit I gotta see. Talk later. Wait, Frank, tell me!
Ho flippin' ho. Uh, I can't believe it. Even Sam has been compromised. Oh, well, this goes too deep. I need some time to myself. Yeah, I don't think I'll include that one in my next book. your business here what what in the hell are you doing here boy what the hell are you talking about what am i doing here these pig smelling idiots drugged and dragged me here that's what i'm doing here mm. you a photographer yes i work for national geographic they sent me up here to shoot the local indigenous vermin oh look i found you all <laughs> great two no food. They send us two goddamn reporters. Whoa, 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 wait. Vic? Was Vic here? She with you? Not really, but I'm kind of her professor. So you got pull with her? Theoretically, yes. Listen. We ain't nothing but good, honest people here. Before this, I was a rancher. I mean, plumber, auction caller, a butcher. Now we're soldiers. Frank! world ain't the same place. You want to stay in Willamette? You want to take your pictures? You're gonna have to be a soldier too. My soldier. This... this Vic bitch? I took her in. Shared our supplies with her. Then she wanted nothing but questions. All about our raids on these military assholes. What? Where? How many weapons we got? I thought she wanted in. I thought she wanted in. Now, now my raiders are out there pinned down in a goddamn ambush because they knew that we was coming. Okay, okay, I get the problem. I can deal with Vic, all right? But I need something from you in return. Don't everyone? 
I need into that dam. Uh. No, listen to me. These people are up to something, okay? I need to find out what it is. Well, Brain, only one who might know her way into that dam is my engineer Hammond. She was leading that raid. The one that your little buddy sold us upriver on. Listen, I'm your best option, okay? Let me go and deal with this. <laughs> hmm. Huh. I wonder. <laughs> yeah, let's. Let's. But hey, don't fuck this up, West. You're one of mine now. Give him the details. West! Over here, let's talk. All right, uh, all right. What's the story? Hammond took a few of hers up to Willamette Junior High. Obscurus has them pinned down. No shots fired yet, but that won't last. I don't get it. Why are you guys poking that particular badger? There's got to be other supplies you could be going after. Tom wants to send a message. I get that impression. Look, Hammond's capable, but she can't hold out for long. You better get up there fast or else Tom will want to poke you next, you hear me? Right. The junior high. I'm on my way. Tom can keep his pokers to himself, thanks. What's this? Not bad. left at Uncle Hurley's. Wonder if it qualifies as food. Hey, Mr. West. I heard there's gonna be a dance in the barn tomorrow. That's, um, that's kinda nice. Do you think... Sounds like someone fired the first shot. Hang on, engineer. You're my golden ticket. Whoops, my bad. Frank West, photojournalist. Ah, should have guessed it. Now hurry up. <sighs> guys, god damn it. Frank, these guys need medical uh, attention. Can you keep Obscurus off us? Sure. You play Florence Nightingale, I'll be Rambo. But when this is over, we can switch. How about I just owe you one instead? Come! 
Fridays, 12 o'clock, or whatever. Thank God. What the hell was that? Make sure that gets bandaged. All right. So you can handle yourself. Yeah, yeah, I covered some horse. Really? Which ones? Uh, listen. Tom said you could get me into the dam. Huh, Tom. Right. <laughs> City keys. We're on the side of the dam. There's a service door. That should get you in. How did you get the keys to the city? Well, before everything went to shit, I was the city's chief engineer. Pretty much have the whole place memorized. Huh. And you're just gonna give these to me? Yeah, I talked to Vic. She said you were around for the first outbreak. Yeah. Yeah, I was. What else did she say? Well, there was some other stuff. Right. Well, on that note... Oh, hey! Hold up! Uh, my guys have taken a hit. They need a ride back to Tom. Yeah, sorry. Wish I could. Had things to do. Huh. He really is an asshole. Tied up in something. You heard of Tom Picton? Local dairy farmer turned resistance leader. One of his people, Hammond. She's helping me get into the dam where Obscurus set a trap for the monster. Hmm. Sounds interesting. I'll keep an ear on the radio channels. See what turns up. That'd be a real help, Brad. Thank you. I just got some analysis back on the reading. This outbreak is immune to the vaccine and to Zombrex. Holy shit. A new strain. An old one. Santa Cabeza old. So don't get bit. I'll take it under serious advice. Appliance store has some of the best deals on for the holidays. Everything. All right, let's see what damning evidence you're hiding. <laughs> I can't see you! Hey, hey, this... The light in the corner! Turn it on! Oh! Oh my god! Frank! Hey, Darcy. How's it going? Getting a little over your head, huh? You came to rescue me? You really are the savior of Willamette! Did you guys make that up, or is there a cult somewhere I should be leading? No, oh, man, no, no. Obscurus is in a panic about this monster. I think they know something about it. Something we don't. Yeah. You see, they're a highly funded military contractor, while you... Well, you write for your girlfriend's blog. Hey, there's gotta be something useful in here. I think it's a briefing room. Hey, come on! Ah, untie me! No, no, no. You just regain your strength. I got this. It says they've been hunting it since... since before the outbreak occurred. Holy shit! I, I bet they created... 
Bit like this is a request to send more exorcists to Willamette for heavy combat. This monster's too fast, too strong for regular weapons. Well, hello. Calder. What is that, an acronym? Project? Name? I'm not sure. But they're terrified of it. It's killed their men, and it wants more. And it's moving through the sewers, so they lured it here. To catch it. I can show you where. Uh, uh, untie me. Quick. We'll go together. What the shit was that? The monster. Frank. Hey, come on. Get me out of here. Sit tight, Darcy. You'll be safe here. Hey, hey, you can't leave me here! Come on, man! Hey, hey, wait! Frank! Frank! Holy shit! Never interviewed a monster before. That's a hell of an exclusive.
In Old Town, I learned that Obscurus was hunting something. And whatever the hell it is, it's hunting them back. Speaking of psychos, Vic's been up to no good. Caught her selling out survivors in exchange for an exclusive with the Obscurus commander. She's even crazier than I thought. But not as crazy as the wingnut Tom picked, and he takes the cake. Ex-dairy farmer turned fascist. Yeah, we're BFS now. His engineer, Hammond, gave me a key to the dam. That's where Obscurus lured this... thing. She seems cool. We're BFFs now. I caught up to Obscurus just in time to see them ship out this Calder. Whatever the hell that is. So now I'm going after them. Find out who or what this Calder is, and why Obscurus is so hell-bent on getting a hold of it. chatter on Obscurus channels. What's this about a convoy? Obscurus caught the monster and they're moving it by truck. I'm going after him. I'll patch you into the radio chatter. Should help your pursuit. There's something else. I think Calder might be the monster's name. That sounds like a man, not a monster. I'll look into it. Attacking the convoy. Can you tell me who? I don't know. Maybe Tom's been? Pretty cutsy for a bunch of farmers.
I found the container truck. There's something not right, though. I'm gonna investigate. Don't get eaten, Frank. Good advice. Thank you for that. Hey, you! Lend a hand, will you? Oh, God. You're Frank West. Look, uh, I'm in bad shape here. I need morphine. Some at the North Peak safe house. You grab me a few hits. I'll tell you what we were hauling. Deal? Deal? All right, all right. I'll think about it. Fine, just hurry. Frank, it's Paula. I've got some more interesting leads for you. Sending you the details now. the weather out there you want to make sure you stock up
Uh, you want something? Stay safe. Don't want to go out there empty handed. appliances. Shipping it out of town for R&D purposes. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, if you find a blanket or some booze, yeah, just... Alright. Now what the hell is going on here? This door was punched out from the inside. What the hell did this? Absolutely no idea. But whatever it is, it's Godzilla strong, has friends, and sports a serious hate on for Obscurus. I'm gonna... What was that? My Pulitzer. You gotta go. Now, where did you run off to? Train cars strewn everywhere. You think Calder did that? God, I hope so. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> 
Brad. The trail leads into the old sewer tunnels. Brad, you there? Shit. Don't worry, Frank. Nothing bad ever happens in the sewers, right? Well, this time I'm going the right way. Gonna be an on the record conversation, Dr. Blackburn? Tell the ZDC I want to be evacuated by helicopter in the next 48 hours. In exchange, I have information. I'll see what I can do. Until then, why don't you whet my appetite a little? I didn't start the outbreak, Mr. West. We were here long before that, years before. Do you remember a certain scientist by the name of. Doctor? Dr. Blackburn. Hmm. 
That's not so good.
me, I'll be in the show. can work out a deal. Yeah, it's hard, but I have my sources.
marketing, Pirate takes over Caribbean Cove. Harmless promotional stunt, or more water fountains laced with mind altering chemicals. on this one. Ah! <laughs> 
Make sure you don't leave this place empty-handed. Those are popular. I've got what you need. Hope I don't run out. There goes the finest man I ever met. Come on, come on, come on. 
This looks useful. Cool. Hey, Brad, can you arrange a covert evac for an obscure scientist? That would be my pleasure. In the meantime, I caught another one of Vic's reports. Take a listen. Heard the ambush ended with gunfire. I have no idea if Hammond made it out alive. The end justifies the means, right? Using people as resources to get the next piece of the story. I keep thinking, this is exactly what Frank would do. Yes, Dick. I am all the evils in the world. Well, you did leave a helpless man tied up in a dark room 20 feet from a live firefight. Whatever. He was fine. Uh-huh. Sure he was. Let me sort out the evac. Park out. Asshole. Here's has a detachment at the end of the block. not conspiring with a paramilitary group. Not doing that, Vic. It's not what I'm doing. And I'm not torturing a woman for a quote while a bunch of trigger-happy jarheads guard the door. I'm not doing that either. That's Get not what I'm doing. Shut up! It's not what I'm doing. What are you doing? Because I'm having a hard time seeing it. I am trying to figure out who these soldiers are working for, how the outbreak began, and what these assholes did. You sold out Hammond and her people. They almost got killed. Do you know that? Are you aware of that? The commander issued a no-kill order, and then Tom's people attacked first. And you believe that? How fucking naive are you? Hello? Shut it! No, 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 I know what this is about. You're trying to get the big story, right? The big scoop! <laughs> this is what this is all about for you, isn't it? 
Just take what you want and cash the check. <laughs> Get out of here, rookie. Poacher. That's all you'll ever be. We need to get out of here. They could come back. Who was that? Friend of yours? Just some troubled youth. What do you want to tell me? Our research at Obscurus, it's all based on a project that was abandoned 15 years ago. 15 years? That's back to the original outbreak. Yes, this project was performed at a secret laboratory hidden somewhere here, in Willamette. And let me guess, Obscurus has been looking for this secret laboratory. Obsessively. The work that went on there... It has the potential to change the very nature of human existence. Wow. Shit. Here. Look. Take a picture if you want. Holy... That's Dr. Barnaby. He basically created zombieism. The secret laboratory and the research project were both his. And both were abandoned on his death in 2006. You know where the lab is, don't you? We were colleagues for years. I swear on the soul of my SLR, if you tell me where the lab is, I will buy you a helicopter. Then go to the Golden Apple Winery. Barnaby built it as a front to hide the lab. Look in the cellar. I'll do that. But I have one more question, Dr. Blackburn. What's with the cat? What? We love that. Fucking cat. Now listen. All the fighting will have attracted the horde. There's an exosuit in the other room. Put it on and draw them off so I can escape. Go. Oh, I Oh, yeah. Now we're playing with that. Go on, Mr. West. You need to draw them off. <laughs> You'll find what you're looking for in that lab.
Hopefully it should contain the evidence we've been looking for.
Nice digs, bro. Wow, that's dark. Guess I'll just wait. Ah, better. What the hell happened over there? Promising. Welcome back, Dr. Barnaby. It has been 4,928 days since your last entry. Hey, Brad, I found the lab. Obscurus was already here, though. They leave anything behind? Yeah, maybe. Computer stuff. I never love to get my hands on that. All right, what do we got? Mr. Flamel, what the fuck is this? Huh? <laughs> I guess Barnaby really did love his cat. The files are all gone. Shit! Damn it. It looks like Obscurus confiscated everything. Makes sense. They keep it in some kind of intelligence lockup. Probably at the base. Oh, right. So all I need to do is penetrate a fortress filled with trained assassins and steal their shit. Great. Well, hold on. There's another door. I wonder. F-L-A-M-E-L. -E Barnaby, you huge idiot. Holy shit.
Kind of new zombie, smart zombie, murder zombie? I don't know. Note to self, come up with a better name than murder zombie. Then I was contacted by Dr. Diane Blackburn, an obscure scientist and a one-time associate of Dr. Barnaby. Yeah, you remember that old fruit, right? Basically invented zombieism, died years back in the original Willamette outbreak. His personal notes and research were never found. Blackburn told me about a secret lab up at the Golden Apple Winery. I checked it out. Weird science, weird zombies, weird, weird, and more weird. Basically, I got nothing for him. Obscurus had already taken all of Barnaby's files. Whatever he was working on, Obscurus wanted it bad. Real bad. And that means it's got to be real good. All right. I need to get Barnaby's research back from Obscurus. <sighs> Ammon, it's Frank West. Yeah, look, I need your help breaking to the Obscurus base. It's a little busy right now, Frank. Oh, come on. It'll take, what, an hour, tops? Why are you whispering? You want to talk? Come find me in West Ridge, in the big houses. I'm off the radar. Talk later. Wait, wait. Which, which house? Ammon. Oh, great. I think I'll be knocking on some doors.
some more rumors about weird shit going on in your area. Perfect for the undead gospel. Get a look if you can. Hey, Frank. I've heard rumors of survivors at the local school banding together into some kind of secret society. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm with you. Hey! Help me! Please! Uh, might be good to check this out. Hammond's gotta be in one of these houses, but which one? I'm with you.
Because she knows this whole operation's gone to shit. Anybody, specifically somebody.
say. You gotta be careful. So how are we gonna clear it out then? Hey. What happened to you? Tom blamed me for the raid, even though he knew it wasn't our fault. He's insane. He's locked people in the cellar, he's banished people, he's put people on trial like he's Henry VIII. And then there's these rumors of people disappearing without a trace. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kill him. And I'm hoping you're gonna help. So what's first? There's civilians at Tom's farm. We need to get them somewhere safe. I'll take care of it. You just get me into that base. We're on it. All due respect, boss, but Mount Team a Siege isn't exactly our style. We'll get slaughtered. Think positive, Connor. I'm positive we'll get slaughtered. Leave the base to me and Jordan. You three, focus on the evacuation. I saw a couple of bugs out in the mall. We could use those to... Nice. Wait, who? Commander Fontana, the Apple in charge of this entire operation. Oh, yeah. Blondish, hard ass. I've seen her. Uh huh. Call me when you've cleared out that pool hall. We got some trouble in paradise, Brad. Hammond needs my help in a coup against Tom. Huh. Let me know where that goes. Somebody help me! Okay, this sounds sort of perfect.
Sage, there's a mysterious cult around town. Another day, another violence. pool hall filled with zombies. <laughs> That's your cue to die! Get it? Cue to die? Zombie arm! Corner pocket! Zombie free. Great. We'll start moving the people over there. I'll meet you outside the base. <sighs> this post apocalyptic barter system is really working for me. Check out those weirdos I messaged you about? Just keeping tabs on my people. 
There you are. Grab that package and we'll get started. <sighs> Jarheads did a piss poor job on this wall, so we're gonna blow it up. Look for a weak spot with that fancy camera. Found it! Good. Now set the charge and get clear. Now get clear, Frank. I said get clear! God damn, not exactly subtle. You said you wanted in. You're in. Shouldn't we do something about this alarm? Not yet. So keep moving. I need to get into that control room. This is my stop. I'll be locking the door. Don't worry about me. Okay. I've limited security access from here. I've opened the room one door over. Go see if there's anything you can use. I'm in business now. Hammond, I've got an exosuit. Wow, good for you. Now destroy the comm tower so they can't call reinforcements. Jeez, is that all? How am I supposed to do that exactly? You're the whole lot, Hey, 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 hey. what were you aiming that thing? Oh shit!
You gotta pick up the pace, Frank. The horn's getting into the wall we blew open. Are you bailing? I'm with you, Frank. Destroy that generator. I need to find Barnaby's research. Brad said it'd be in some kind of intelligence lockup. Gonna need to look around. West, I intercepted another one of Vic's reports. Fine, play it. Frank is back in Willamette. And surprise! He brought a stupid smug face with him. <laughs> you know, for a second, I was actually glad to see him. I thought, finally, together we'll make some progress. Once he sees how the people are doing, he'll... You know what? I'm a little radio silence. If you like. <sighs> Research facility, huh? Based off the work of the late great Dr. Barnaby, perhaps? Subject quite like a lot. Hey there, little guy. Commander Fontana has reviewed all progress on Project Saturn. No addressee. Right, because that'd be too easy.
this? Brain teasers? What, are you gonna send them to college? said all the stuff they took from Barnum's lab will be in some kind of intel lockup, which is somewhere else. Okay, gotta keep looking. Lockdown terminated. Have a nice day. Screw you, Gar! I smell zombies. I gotta clear them out before I can do any serious looking. Where's this intel lockup? God damn, there must be thousands of files here. There we go. The missing files all stamped. November 25th. There we go, Barnaby's missing computer stuff. Retrieved by Recon Team Nova 6. What is that? Oh, this is part of the treatment chamber I saw in Barnaby's lab. The tag has coordinates. So they raided Barnaby's lab on November 25th. That'll be the date I need to find the right info. All right, let's see. November. Yes! Oh, yes! You are one sexy little surveillance record. I'm going to take you to a computer and watch you so hard. Now, let's see. Hey, 
Hello, little guy. How you doing? Oh, damn. Guess you ought to be more careful next time. What happened? You got my way. Power coming on. All right. Hands. Perimeter. Copy. Vargas. Inventory. Pick it, tag it, cat it. Roger that. We'll call it. Get your head out of your ass. Power and safety. I don't want any accidents. Already on. Seizure team is inbound. They're gonna be here within the hour. I want this place mapped out. You hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. The body was cremated at 1500 hours. My seventh failure. At September 19th, 2006. Dr. Russell Barnaby. This is likely my final progress report. There's been an outbreak in the Willamette Mall. I didn't cause it. I don't know who did it. I don't even know how it's possible. Containment leak, maybe? I just... I don't know. The experiment will be incomplete. Conservatively, it needs another 50 years research. All the data is there, uploaded into my Good. primary storage. That's what we're talking about. Let's get it. Perhaps some smart young scientist can make use of it. Downloading. The treatment itself remains locked at 62% effectiveness. It represents the pure truth of my creation. Oh, there? Undeath, they call it. <laughs> the world has known no greater irony. Take away the decay. The bestial wrath, the failure of the mind. Ask yourself, what remains? A zombie is just a man who never tires, never sickens, never ages. Indeed, zombies are the key to human immortality. And yet, since the livestock angle didn't pan out, oh, these Pentagon idiots remain fixated on weaponizing the plague. Proof of that, I, too, have put in a safe place. Well, I've been summoned by an unknown agent, likely to my death. The voice was familiar. Perhaps an employee or a citizen of Santa Cabeza. If so, I must go prepared. If anyone survived that incident, and if they know my name and contact information, I must likely they blame me for what happened. Additionally, the infected population grows apace. If I was a sane man, I would stay below. But I must confess to an irrational desire to witness my handiwork. Should I become infected, I must return here and use the test chamber. A last-ditch effort to save myself from the plague I created. So then, farewell. Let it be known that I fought to my last to protect life. And yet, in so doing, cause untold death. <laughs>
Oh, shit. Fontana! You don't scare me. I know who started the outbreak. It was Calder, one of your soldiers. Turning squad, redeploy to the basement. Flush him out. I gotta get the hell out of here. Frank, you there? What's going on? Uh, a little busy, but the Cliffs notes are that Calder asshole's got our big scoop and Fontana's trying to murder me. Wait, what? Steps. I don't recall authorizing your press pass. Uh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to finish Barnaby's research. Barley zombies him into some kind of immortality treatment. You're trying to make a mint off a bunch of aging millionaires. That was the plan, but I guess immortality isn't as profitable as cheap labor. What? At first. The client just wanted to exploit Dr. Barnaby's research, but then these things, these smart zombies started showing up and the mission changed. Pacify, domesticate, and train. You plan to make soldiers, aren't you? You're gonna make some kind of undead army. You're out of your mind. You think anyone's gonna set these things loose with a gun? No. No, the plan was coffee farmers. Really? Oh, well, there is a lot of money in coffee. Or manufacturing, or meatpacking, or, or fucking fruit, I don't know. Peanuts. Peanuts are hard to harvest, just a thought. Cheap, unskilled labor, exported to whoever's buying. It's all about this with these guys. Yeah, when, who are these guys? You are, Frank. Assuming you pay your taxes. You're wasting my time! You think you're scary? You are! <laughs> Obscurus had what I needed, so Hammond took a break from planning a revolution to help me bust into the base. Okay, we may have left the front door open behind us. The carnage was... well, let's just say they got what they deserved. I learned Obscurus was using Barnaby's research to create zombie slaves, which is multiple shades gross. And Calder? Here's a good one. Stop me if you've heard it before. An exosuit and a zombie have a baby. It's large, angry, and has the data I need to crack this thing wide open. And I need it now more than ever. Because with Fontana dead, there's no way to prove that this whole thing is the government's handiwork. 
And that's the punchline. I gotta get out of this death trap and find Calder. I need that hard drive. Oh, God! Somebody! Please help! Bloody than this. Guess that's it for Obscurus. I'm heading there now. Hammond's coup failed. What's wrong with the shelter? It's in lockdown, but something's not right. Check it out, then call me. 
Damn it! Why can't zombie outbreaks ever be simple? Getting sidetracked for the ginger. It's the good old Christmas time. <laughs> 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 Find some higher ground, get a better look. Those aren't zombies. Oh, wow, electric fence. Well, I have zero interest in a free defibrillation, thanks. Brad, flashing orange lights, what do they mean? Override lockdown. Nothing gets in or out until the system is reset. There's a panel around back. Hit the reset switch and the exterior doors will open. And that's what I gotta do. Hold on. What about Calder? Saving Hammond won't get you that fuel, sir. Uh, yeah, I know, Brad. It's just... I owe her one, all right?
Trust me, shitheads. Systems reset, Frank. Get in there fast, or the zombies will get to Hammond before you do. Oh, shit, I hadn't thought about that. This is our turn! Bring it, weirdo! in here. No kidding. There'll be three doors. You'll need to shut them from the inside. Focus on not pissing myself. God, I hope Hammond's all right. What do you mean? She's not here? Tom's people took her and Jordan. We tried to go back for her, but those hillbilly dicks hit the lockdown. Tom's probably holding her at the farm. I'll go check. Keep your radio on. I'll shout if I learn anything. Uh -oh. Thanks, bud. Glad you're one of the good guys. should be here with you. No, they split us up. Son of a bitch. Tom's gonna kill her, Frank. We'll find her. You stay here and look around. I'll check out the rest of the farm. Oh, does the little baby want to cry? I'm here to rescue you! Oh, Shit, that was nuts. 
You hear? I'm gonna fucking give you nightmares! <laughs> Let's go! Wonder if they'll firebomb the city again. Gonna give you nightmares! His closet? Okay. That's, um, a lot of scuff marks on it. Aha! A secret entrance! Wait, what the shit? A secret entrance? For real? No, Hammond. Alright, maybe there's some clue as to where they took her. Kylie Hammond is sentenced to death for the crime of high treason. Holy shit. Tom's keys. I bet these open every door on the compound. I've seen these before. This is what those whack job looters wear. One Machiavellian dairy farmer. crazy looks like. Brad, Tom's gonna execute him. He took her to that Kippick cement factory North Peak. Are you anywhere near there? I wouldn't make it in time, Frank. I need to get ZDC evacs for the civilians now that Obscurus is out of the way. Shit! It's up to me, then. What do you know? 
Frank West, the hero Willamette deserves. Yep, a shitty hero for America's shittiest town. I should check that out. We are of mind, young apostle. Only watch your ass. Those farms creep me right the hell out. Our meats can't be beaten. <laughs> yeah! Straight into the grill! <laughs> That better buff out! Away now, Hammond's toast. Of ours, today we review the misdeeds of our once trusted ally, who would destroy me. Out of if I walk ambition. away now, Hammond's toast. <sighs> like a sapling growing out of cinders, we built our new community on the roof. If I walk away now, Hammond's toast. Walk away now, Hammond's toast. Away now, Hammond's toast. We aren't just building a community, we're building a new world order! Holy shit! <laughs> 